Stable Bradyarrhythmia A Guide to Management Hello Understanding Bradyarrhythmias is essential for effective patient care. These conditions are often asymptomatic, and when a patient is hemodynamically stable with sinus bradycardia, specific treatment may not be necessary. However, it's crucial to identify and manage reversible causes to ensure patient safety. Key Management Considerations 1. Medications Certain drugs can induce bradyarrhythmias, particularly beta blockers, digoxin, and calcium channel blockers. A thorough review of the patient's medication history is vital, as adjustments may be needed to alleviate bradycardic effects. 2. Intracranial pressure Elevated intracranial pressure can lead to the Cushing reflex, which presents as bradycardia accompanied by hypertension. Monitoring for signs of increased intracranial pressure is critical, especially in patients with neurological issues. 3. Electrolyte imbalances. Both hypo and hyperkalemia can significantly affect heart rhythm. Regular monitoring of potassium levels allows for prompt correction of any imbalances, thereby reducing the risk of bradyarrhythmias. 4. Hypothermia. A decrease in body temperature can also result in bradycardia. Identifying and treating hypothermia is essential, particularly in patients who present with altered mental status or have been exposed to cold environments. Thank you. Share and subscribe in our Critical Code channel.